Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at the Hang Seng Index as well as some uh, Hong Kong stocks. Before we begin, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe as you really help out the channel. Without further ado, let's start off with the Hang Seng Index. So the Hang Seng Index uh, ended off the week near the high, so that is a very good sign. In fact, if you look closely, uh, just today we managed to uh, gap up after uh, two days of uh, selling. But even with the sell down, you can see that uh, there were red candles, but the candles look pretty okay and we didn't finish at the bottom. We found some support at this uh, blue conversion line here. Uh, clearly, you can see the candle was uh, holding this uh, blue conversion line just above this 20,000 um, psychological support. And thereafter, even with the gap up, we also managed to found some support here at this uh, 2433 on this uh, red baseline. Currently, we managed to uh, break through all resistance, even this 61.8% at 2044. So we'll be likely to be heading towards this uh, 2839, uh, perhaps uh, next week before we retest the high of 21291. And if we can break out above this uh, recent high 21291, then that would be a good uh, situation for the Hang Seng Index. Moving on, let's go on to the uh, uh, Hang Seng Tech Index. So a very similar situation. You can see that they uh, managed to cross this 61.8% at 4225, slightly stronger, uh, both these um, uh, blue conversion line and red uh, baseline has been crossover. So now the only uh, resistance that we'll be looking at would be this uh, 70.6% at 4353, as well as this 4515 to reclaim back this uh, recent high here. Clearly, you can see that uh, we are approaching the clouds. So on the way up, the cloud will act as a resistance, similar to this situation here, where the cloud acts as some resistance. If we are able to penetrate the clouds with a uh, good volume, then that will be a sign that uh, buyers are intending to push uh, this particular index higher. Let's move on to some of its components. So Tencent announced its earnings. Uh, it did have a fall, but clearly you can see that uh, this fall was uh, being cushioned where we ended the day uh, near the top. So the bulls, uh, the bears actually pushed the stock down uh, all the way to the bottom, but the bulls managed to come back and reverse the trend uh, back up. So that is a sign. And the very next day, we actually uh, went back up once again. So looking at its uh, resistance from its high of uh, 375.2 to a recent low of 334 on Thursday, we can see that um, we are looking towards this 50% at 354.6 before retesting this 359.4. We can see that um, on this uh, blue conversion line, it's uh, being uh, blocked currently at 352.6 and the next uh, red baseline that we'll be looking at will be 356.6, which is actually uh, very close. So there are some resistance here and the incoming clouds around uh, 360 range before we clearing back this 78.6% at 366.4. And hopefully we can retest the highs of 375.2. You can see that Tencent has been uh, in on uh, very much like a uh, downtrend in this particular area. So do expect some resistance here and hopefully this time around we can uh, break out with good volume. Next up, we have um, Alibaba 9988. So 9988 seems to be a bit uh, lagging behind, but uh, we did find some support and managed to break above this uh, blue conversion line. So that is a good thing for a start, um, especially, especially so on a Friday. Uh, the volume is uh, still quite pathetic, so hopefully more volume will come in. So the resistance we'll be watching will be 89.05, which we, we are um, approaching very soon. This um, red uh, baseline is 91.85, which coincides with this 50% uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement, looking towards this uh, 94.65 and 98.70. So um, we have to remain, we have to cross this 94.65 to uh, remain bullish, and hopefully we can close this gap here at around $97, and reclaim back this $100 uh, psychological resistance at um, 103.80. Next up, we have Meituan. So Meituan, like I said, uh, it's a very uh, bullish counter. So clearly we can, uh, we actually uh, pass through all resistance. So the next resistance left for us will be uh, this 178.0. So 178.0 was also the um, very strong 61.8% uh, to be watching. So if we do break out um, convincingly and hopefully it's not a fake breakout, then it's likely for us to be heading towards this uh, 190 zone at around 198.2 before testing the $200 psychological resistance. And hopefully we can go back to this 224s and uh, which is all the recent high sometime back in February 2022. We have now uh, JD.com. So JD.com um, seems quite disappointing. Um, quite similar to Alibaba, we found some support above its uh, blue conversion line. We crossed this uh, 212.2, but apparently we got rejected off and we managed to close the day with uh, 211.6. So there's a lot of resistance coming up at 226, 237, 249, even 265 before we test the high of 286.0. Next up, we have uh, Baidu. So Baidu managed to found a, a strong um, momentum after it has its double bottom. So we actually clear all resistance at uh, 38.2, 50%, and even this 61.8%. So next up, we are looking towards this uh, 126.9 before we testing the recent high 133.1. Hopefully this uh, red, conversion, red baseline and this uh, blue conversion line can act as a very strong support on the way down in the event that we were to pull back at 118.7 and also 114.5. Next up, we have uh, NIO. So NIO just had this uh, listing in uh, Singapore market, uh, SGX. 
And apparently on this Friday, we had a very good closing. In fact, we closed at the very peak. So that is a very strong sign that sellers, sellers uh, buyers are still around. Uh, so looking at this uh, Fibonacci resistance, we actually crossed this one two nine point nine convincingly. Looking towards this one three seven point eight next week before we testing higher one four seven one seven one four seven point nine, and hopefully we can go back up to this uh, highs once again at around one eighty to uh, about one two hundred highs. Let's proceed to AIA. So AIA similar situation. You can see uh, quite similar to Baidu at the bottom here. And then we uh, bounce up quite strongly, even breaking through this uh, blue conversion line and even this uh, red baseline. So what we want to see is uh, after crossing a red uh, baseline, we, it, it wants to act as a very strong uh, support. So you can see that it acted as a strong support and hopefully it can continue to act as a strong support. Uh, surprisingly, there was not much resistance in the uh, cloud for this particular counter. So it seems like this, uh, the, the market makers are actually pushing this counter up. So as to hope, support the index. The next resistance to be watching for this uh, AIA will be 81.65 before we retest the highs of 84.40. We on to the um, Ping An 2318. So 2318, like I said, it, it was a little bit lagged behind. It seems like it's uh, falling towards uh, Alibaba and also um, quite similar to JD.com. You can see that it did have a double bottom, but apparently we couldn't uh, penetrate up. So we close uh, around this 38.2% uh, at 4850. Next resistance to be watching will be uh, 4935. Uh, 50, 20, even 5135 before we can see the highs uh, of 5285 once again. This um, rate, uh, baseline is also, I think, a strong resistance. And hopefully, we can see next week at 5238, which coincides with uh, this recent high of 5285. If we were to break down, then unfortunately, we may start creating uh, lower lows. But uh, hopefully, market makers will not allow such things to happen. And this uh, 4585 has to hold well. Let's move on to uh, Xiaomi Corporation 1810. So 1810, uh, very disappointing, but we at least we managed to close the week near the high. So you can see that uh, after crossing this uh, blue conversion line, it acted as a very good support and the candles will manage to close above this blue conversion line. So the next will be uh, testing this red um, uh, baseline, which is uh, currently at around 1171. And we managed to close the day at around 1174, just above this uh, red baseline. So the next resistance we'll be watching will be 1182 and also 1222. And this time around, hopefully, we can also test the highs of the clouds at around uh, 1350. Lastly, we have um, uh, NetEase. So NetEase is a very, very strong uh, counter. You can see that uh, when we did have a pullback all the way down, we only hit this 50% at 132.8. And ever since then, we trend back up once again. So this is a good sign of uh, many uh, green volume. So this is an indication that uh, perhaps um, buyers are actually present, insiders are buying. That's a very good sign. So you can see that the recent um, Fibonacci, we actually all pass it, even testing the high of 156.6. So, so long as we actually can cross this 156.6 next week, then that is a good sign. You can see that we got rejected off three times. So this will be uh, the fourth attempt, or in fact, the third attempt if we manage to go through it. So the key um, resistance to watch will be 158.1. If we can uh, go over comfortably, then we were looking towards this 171.7. Not forgetting there's also one resistance here at 162 and also some resistance here at 166. Hopefully, if uh, we can cross this um, 156.6, then um, the next time we do pull back down, the previous support can turn into resistance. And if previous support were to turn to resistance, and previous you can see the previous resistance here, previous support turn into resistance, and then we can go back up even higher, uh, perhaps to 170 or 180 levels. So that's all for now. Uh, for now, um, the Hang Seng Index and Hang Seng Tech Index actually closed the week pretty well. Some of the stocks also uh, managed to follow through. On the other hand, we also have some uh, laggard counters like Alibaba, um, even JD.com, and Ping An and Xiaomi Corporation. While the others like uh, Meituan, AIA, and even NetEase are actually its outstanding uh, components and it's also holding the index pretty well. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.